Hi, thanks for joining me for this demonstration of SOLIDWORKS 2010. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do a bulk rename operation, how to create a copy of an assembly, rename all of its reference documents uh, so that the references are all preserved. Uh, you might have a couple of different scenarios where you would use this. One might be when you have uh, an entire assembly with all of its sub-assemblies and sub-parts and you'd like to make a copy of everything so that you can assign new names to the, uh, to the documents. Uh, or another situation might be if you import a step or a parasolid file of an assembly that someone sends you, uh, that creates uh, a lot of reference documents and sometimes you may not be crazy about the naming convention or you may want to go through and give a new naming convention. And that's the scenario I'm going to demonstrate today. Um, I've insorted, imported a step file, uh, it's created a whole bunch of documents and they have these uh, long numerical names. I'd like to shorten those up ma maybe to match uh, my company's naming convention. Well, in either case, this, uh, uh, this situation of uh, doing a bulk rename can be done through the File Save As dialog. So we choose File Save As, and now we choose the References button. The References button brings up a dialog that lets us go through and modify the names and or the save paths of all of the reference documents that are loaded into this top-level assembly first thing that I'll do is go through and assign a new folder path where our copies will be stored. A quick way to select all of the documents is just to click on the name column here in the references dialog. You can see that all the documents are now highlighted in blue so any change I make here will affect all of the selected documents. To specify a new folder I'll just click the browse button and locate a new folder or make a new folder and once I specify that new folder path, you'll see that all of the documents that were selected now show a green folder path indicating the new location where those copies will be stored. Now we can do a couple of things to rename the documents. We can go through one by one and just click on a, a, a name, enter in a new value. I'll change my 10,000 to a 1,001 and it updates and shows in green. You can also go through and do a batch rename operation. Here let's select all the documents again and here I'll choose the More Options button. Under More Options I can go through and add a prefix or a suffix to all of the selected documents or I can use a Find and Replace function. Let's use the Find and Replace and now we'll just work through the list of documents and find for example all of the 99999s. I want to replace those with my naming convention which will be 901 replace all. And you can see it finds all of the ones in the list and uh, when a, a document is, is given a new name you'll see it show up in green. So we'll just work ourselves through the list methodically making sure that all of the documents get renamed the way that we would like. Okay, almost done here renaming the last batch of files and I have one file left that has a 10,000 designation I'll give that a 1001 and as I scan back through the list of documents I can see that every document has a new name assigned I'm now ready to hit the save all button once that finishes I'm going to close out of the original document and now let's do a file open and let's look in that new folder and we can see all of our new files reside here and we can open up and verify that everything worked. Once the new file is open you can see that the feature manager has updated to the new naming convention and just as a sanity check I always like to use file find references to verify that all of my reference documents are coming from the correct location. So there's a great simple and elegant way to go through and do a bulk rename operation on an assembly and all of its reference documents.